So we know what content is. Uh, the reason why I'm using that word is because it's used widely in the business community. And of course, I know that anytime the word business comes up in an academic setting, some people get uh, a strong Itchy. reaction <laughs> saying, no, we can't become corporate. Uh, but, but actually, actually, you know, the word content is very common in the world of marketing and branding. Well, I mean, that's the business world, yeah. and that's where people are going to mm -hmm. not like it. However, um, what the business world has discovered is exactly what I discovered in writing a blog, and I did not do that to make money. I did not do that to market myself. I did not do that to be corporate. I just did that to enhance my own uh, you know, intellectual growth and to share ideas with people. So let's Let's, for the rest of these videos, let's not care about the word business if that comes up, but let's think about what they're doing because they are actually doing a lot more than, uh, you know, the university or academic world is doing. And a lot of it is just based on the common sense ideas and needs of how to communicate in the digital age. So let's give an, a, a classic example of how content is used now in the business world. And yes, they use the concept of content marketing. So there's a famous example of a guy who was selling swimming pools. When the economy started to go down around 2009, he wasn't selling many swimming pools and his business was starting to struggle. And so he sat in front of his computer and wrote blog post after blog post every day for a year. What did he write about? He didn't write about his company. He just gave people information that they needed to know that could help them purchase and maintain swimming pools. And people read that information, people from all around the world, but people who lived closer to where this guy lived read it and then realized that the guy who was reading it did actually have his own um, swimming pool company, although he wasn't really you know, outwardly advertising that. Since they built a relationship with this guy through asking questions that he answered, they felt comfortable working with this guy and then said, hey, I guess we should buy a swimming pool from this guy who's blogging about it. That's the model that the business world and organizations from nonprofits to you know, everything out there is engaging with now because they find that it's much more effective than following the traditional way of putting an advertisement out there and hoping that someone uh, would see it. But that traditional technique is exactly what academics um, do today when they make use of the digital, the mm -hmm. digital world that we're in. Mm -hmm. so, I think that's a yeah. great point. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay.